Hi, I wanted to make a quick video saying stop cheating or stop committing adultery. You know, you may think that it is, um, you know, exciting or, you know, it's good sex or you might have another reason that you're thinking. Um, and I want to highly encourage you to really consider why you're doing something, you know, um, and you may not necessarily um, feel like you have control over your sexual desire, but, you know, God doesn't want that for you. You know, um, God wants a better life for you. And think about what it's doing to your spouse. You know, um, you might be upset at your spouse. You might be... Um, feeling like you're not getting your needs met in spout in your relationship. And so, um, obviously this video is for, if you feel like, you know, you have, you might not have conviction, but I think if you're a person that follows Jesus, you know, I think you need to realize that Jesus doesn't want that for you, you know, and you have to come to a decision about, is this something that is benefiting my life? Now, it might be pleasurable, but it might not be beneficial. It's not beneficial to you. And so, you know, I wanted to just encourage you that, you know, you need to really think about what it's doing to you and what it's doing to your life. You know, um, it says that fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. It says that in the Bible, I recommend Googling that. And so, you know, even if you're looking at porn and you're in a relationship, you know, those aren't what God, God wants. And, and it says God will judge those people, meaning that he's going to bring something, some trouble, some, some judgment into your life saying this is wrong. And I want you to feel that it's wrong. So I, I highly recommend, you know, you need to confess to somebody your sin. Um, you need to repent of it, but you also need to realize why it's wrong. If you're in a relationship where you shouldn't be, you are not thinking about if it's right or wrong. You know, you don't realize in your head if it's right or wrong. You just think, oh, it's okay, you know, um, you're attracted to that person, you might not really be thinking a lot, a whole lot about it at all. And so um, one example is David, you know, in the Bible that he wasn't really thinking so much about whether it was right or wrong or not. He kind of thought, him, thought of, of himself as a Christian, you know, he was a lover of God. And yet, you know, he kind of was taking his eye off of the one back then God gave them the law, God gave them the commandments and he, and back then they didn't really put their faith in Christ as we do today, but they really were given guidelines about how to live. And so I just want to encourage you to really research whether it is right or wrong, according to your standard of, of, uh, which, which should be the Bible. Um, and I think coming to a realization that what you're doing is wrong, I think will help. I think you need to pray about it. Say, God, is this something that you want me to do? And of course the answer is no, but that I'm just offering a way to offer to get God involved into your help of how to break that relationship. Um, because you can't have a stable marriage. You can't have a stable relationship, you know, and if you are thinking, oh, I'm just going to start a relationship with this person and, and forget about my husband or forget about my boyfriend, you know, God is going to not totally be on your side as far as the favor that you need for that next relationship. 
and you're just bringing in hurt and you're just bringing in trouble into that relationship. And so, again, what I suggest is that you get counseling, you know, talk to someone, tell them, you know, you want to stop. You need to do your research, you know, uh, research it in the Bible about why it's wrong. Um, but also sometimes we need someone to explain things to us of why something is wrong. And, um, and once you have a good understanding of why it's wrong, I think that will help you in, um, breaking that off. But also you have some sort of deeper issue going on, um, that you need to get addressed. Um, whether it's abandonment issues, maybe you were abandoned by a parent or you were hurt by a parent or maybe a breakup, you know, maybe you feel like all people aren't good. So it's not worth it being a good person yourself, or maybe you're just have some sort of strong sexual desire and you're just attracted to that person. Maybe they have a good body or, um, maybe they're just available. You know, the person that you want to be with is not available or, or, you know, maybe they're just more emotionally available. Maybe you don't have strings attached or maybe they're just, you know, answering your texts. Maybe they're just able to get to you when you need them. Whatever the reason may be, I think um, you need to have that understanding of, is this something that God wants me to do? You know, and of course the answer is no, it's not something that God wants you to do, but you can have a twisted ideology about whether it's right or wrong. And so, um, you know, it's possible to break connections with people, but I think you need to get serious about your walk with Christ. You need to get serious about your walk with God. And, you know, if you don't like reading the Bible, listen to an audio Bible go to YouTube. You can type in New King James Version. You know, honestly, there's nothing wrong with getting a different Bible translation. You know, if you find it hard to understand the Bible or it's not very entertaining, get a different translation, you know, uh, get a more modern contemporary translation um, that you can listen to it for longer periods of time. Um, and then also, you know, I think Get serious about Christ, you know, um, realize that there are consequences, you know, and if you're not getting what you want out of life, um, we have to turn away from evil in order to possibly get those things. It's not necessarily a guarantee all the time, but God wants to bless us when we do right. A great Bible verse says that God will with withhold no good thing from them that walk uprightly. And so, yes, we should love God for loving God, but God also tells us that he will reward us for doing what's right. And so you need to be that person of integrity. You know, you need to be honest. Like maybe you do have some sort of sexual addiction. Maybe that's strong. Maybe there's some sort of um, strong sexual lust that you have within you and you feel like you can't get control of it. What has helped is you need to talk to somebody. You need to uh, get a pastor involved. If you're a woman, try to talk to a woman pastor, you know, um, just so there's nothing weird happening. Um, if you're a man, try to talk to a man, but also try to talk to someone that's older, someone with wisdom, someone with years of experience. Um, and then definitely don't listen to bad friends, you know, there's worldly people who that's what they do. They, they have fornication in their life. They, they have sex outside of marriage. It doesn't phase them because they don't have God in their life to convict them or to help them have a better life. And so you want to definitely limit who you're listening to, especially those movies that um, show a lot of sex outside of marriage you know, you want to limit where you are, what you're putting into your mind. And you need to break those friends off, you know, those friends who are godless, you know, you can't listen to those friends anymore. And you have to really be serious about your eternal life. You know, the Bible says lay hold of eternal life. 
You know, there is stipulation that we have to do what's right. You know, the Bible says that there are certain things that we can do that we won't inherit eternal life if we do those things. And so even though, yes, God loves us, we have to be aware that God is always watching what we do, you know, and he wants us to do what's right. So I hope you feel encouraged that, you know, there is hope for you if you're in a relationship that you know you shouldn't be, or maybe you don't know that you shouldn't be in the relationship and you're just having fun, you know, you're just kind of, uh, you know, just casually doing it, you know, um, I want to encourage you that you can have a better life. You can have a different life. Um, and Jesus is there to meet you where you, where you are. And, uh, he's there to forgive you and he's there to have you making better choices for the rest of your life. So God bless you. Thanks for watching. See ya.